so hey guys welcome back once again after a long time i'm posting a video on my channel and in this video i'm gonna show you how to solve problem of audio delay on streamlabs obs and elgato hd 60s first of all let me tell you there are three options on the internet i have found out and let me tell you the first two options i will tell you most of the people on the internet says it worked for them and most of the people on the internet says it never worked for them but the third option i'm gonna say, tell you is will definitely work for you so let's get started with the first option okay first of all you will see a mixer tab here i'm already on streamlabs obs first of all you will see a mixer tab over here okay just go on to right hand side and you will see a setting icon over here just click on the setting icon okay you will see a tab opened over here okay just go on to desktop audio or whatever device you are using for audio just go on to it click on to it okay whatever you are using just click and first first option i'm gonna say you is the sync offset option okay most of the most of the people on the internet says it worked and most of the people on the internet says it never worked for them okay but just give it a try this is the first option okay so here over here set whatever value like 200 250 to 550 650 most of them were saying on the internet that 650 work for them 700 work for them whatever the value depending upon the delay set your sync offset value like 250 or whatever 550 650 850 whatever the delay you are facing just set the value over here so this was the first option of sync offset the next option i'm gonna say you is the device timestamp Okay, most of them says that device timestamp unchecking the device time timestamp work for them. Okay, so this was the second option. The first two options are over here only. Earlier on the earlier version, it used to be on another tab. Okay, so it's over here only. Second option. Okay, the two options are first of all. Let me repeat. The first is sync offset set value whatever value depending upon your delay. Okay. The next option is divide stamp timestamp. Okay. So these are the two options I'm gonna say you and just give it a try. If it works for you, then that it's good. Okay. So these are the two options. Now let's jump onto the third option that will definitely definitely work for you. I'm gonna say you it will definitely work for you. Okay. So let's jump. Just close this. Okay. And just go on to a search bar over here okay search bar and search control panel over here control panel just go on to control panel over here and you will find hardware and sound option over here okay just click on to hardware and sound option over here and you will find a lot of options like just click on to sound option over here okay clicking on to the sound option you will find a tab open over here okay after that just go on to a recording tab over here you will find game capture hd 60s over here okay whatever elgato hd 60s or game capture hd 60s just right click over there and go on to properties over here okay you will find another tab opened over here okay just go on to listen tab in that tab and just click this setting okay listen to de this device it should be checked over here okay just see it's checked over here like see okay just click check over here and just apply over here apply or okay or whatever you do just apply okay okay and just click okay over here now return to streamlabs ops and just go on to source section you will find video capture device or whatever capture device you are using uh, using elgato capture or video capture device just right click over here and go on to properties okay go on to properties over here see just come down and see cap uh, audio output mode over here you will find audio output mode over here just click over here and you will find three options select whatever you will find like on out output desktop audio direct sound i i found out that it was double sound my device used to sound like uh, two times double sound okay so just check out whatever capture audio only worked for me perfectly perfectly it was working for me capture audio only audio output desktop audio uh direct sound uh, like some sets it works for them but just check out just cross check whichever you it is like uh suitable for you. just check and just close it and just see and you will see that this option the third option this is the third option and it will definitely work for you okay it will definitely work for you because the first two option i have found out on the internet that most of the people says 
it worked for them and most of the people on the internet said it never worked for them so this was the third option and the third option will definitely work for you so that's all for today's video and we'll back with another video so i hope your audio delays will be solved by this three options which whichever option i have said so i hope for the best and see you soon guys bye guys